Hello folks, my name is Matthew Peterson. I'm a trainer here at Pragmatic Works. And if this is your first time at the YouTube channel here, make sure you like, subscribe to stay up to date on all the videos we post, normally two to three a week covering the Power Platform, Azure, SQL, Teams, Excel, we do it all. And in this video, what I wanna do in my 17th episode of the Power Platform series is go into Canvas apps and talk about some some kind of requirements that I've gotten from users from doing virtual mentoring and hackathons of saying, Matt, I've got a form in an application and there are certain fields that they don't need to fill out sometimes, but other times they do. Is there a way to dynamically control what fields show in a form? As well as, Matt, I don't want them to hit that save button until they have all the required data in that you as the app developer want to collect before record is uh, created. So that's what I'm gonna show in this video. So before we get to it, let's see the intro. All right, so here's my app. And this is an app that I created for doing uh, mental well checks for students at schools. Uh, when COVID was coming around, uh, they wanted to really check in with their students and see how they were feeling. Uh, so this was an app I created and then some of the requirements were from the guidance counselors and teachers saying we only want to collect certain data fields based on certain requirements. So let me show you what we did here. So what the user is going to do on this application is when we hit play, they're just going to say I'm ready to create a new check. And we have some different values that they're going to fill for if they feel isolated or physically exhausted. So the first thing that I told my, my, uh, my developers as we made this is, you know, these rating controls are great, but oftentimes whenever I have a default value set, my users I have seen in the past kind of just skip over that field because they're like, oh, there's already data there. Their brain just kind of tricks them into moving to the next field. So what I'm going to show is how we can change this default value from three stars to zero stars and then how I'm going to use this as a dynamic field to control whether or not we see the comments field underneath. So let's see how we get that done. So the first thing I'm going to do here is get out of preview and I'm going to select that rating control. So if I go over to my tree view, you can see that this is a data card value. It's an input control. And under the default where it says three, all I have to do is take out the three and set it to zero. And now there are no stars. And I can do the same thing for my physically exhausted one, change it from a three to a zero. Now you might say, well, Matt, this is gonna become an issue now because what if they skip over this and they don't put in a star value rating? Well, if it's a required column on your data source, your, your, your user's gonna get an error message that says, you know, record cannot be created, this is a required value. Or if you don't want them to see that error message, let's make it to where they can never create the record unless there's a value in here, as well as dynamically control this comments field. So what they wanted is they said, Matt, only if they select four or five stars for feeling isolated, do we want to show them their isolation comments field. So what I'm gonna do is select my whole data card for isolation comments. And then I'm gonna go to its visible property. Now by default, we can see that the visible property has been set to true, but I'm going to make this dynamic by putting in a conditional statement. So for my formula here, I'm going to start off with an if condition. And what I'm going to say is if, now I'm going to tell Power Apps to look at this rating control, which is called DCV isolation. I've renamed mine. So DCV isolation. So that's a control. We can see that it's showing up in green around that control. And now I say, well, what do I want to know about that control on the app? So when I put in a period, I can bring back all the properties for that control. And what I want to check is the value. So I'm going to say dot value. And I'm then going to say, is it greater than three? So if this results in true, if the value is greater than three, what do I want the visibility of my comments to be? Well, I want them to be shown. So I'll put in a true. If it's not greater than three, then I don't want to show this part of the form, so I'll set it to false. And so now if I come on over here and play my app, we can see that the isolation comments are not showing. One star, nothing, two, three, nothing, four stars, yes, now we see the comments. If I go back to three, it's now hidden. And again, I could do that just to reiterate, I could do this for my physical exhaustion as well. So I would select the whole data card, I would go to its visible property, and then I would put in another if condition here. And this time I just now have to reference my physically exhausted data card value. So I did DCV exhausted dot value, take a look at the value, is it greater than three? 
If it is, then show the uh, comment section, so true. If it's not greater than three, then let's not show those comments. I'll set it to false. So here again, if I go to play, physically exhausted, one, two, three, four, bingo. Now it is now showing here. So this is one way of how we can reference data card values in a form to dynamically control whether or not we show specific fields. We can also do this by setting up um, security roles and saying if this is, for this user show these fields, for this one show those, but this is how we reference a control directly from the form. Now the next thing I want to show here is my save button currently can be selected at any point. I'm going to make this user friendly and I'm going to say hey only light up that save button if certain fields have values that I want to capture. So that way I'm not going to allow them to create the record without specific fields entered in, even though those columns might not be required columns from my original data source. So let me show you how we can do this next. So what I'm going to do is head on over to my save button right here, and I'm going to go to its display mode. And by default, when you put it in, a button, the display mode is automatically set to dot edit, which means we can click on it. Well, here again, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to put some conditional logic on here. So what I'm going to say is if, so start off with our if, if my DC isolation, a DCV isolation control dot value, if the value of that control is equal to zero, meaning they have not made a star selection, then I want my button to be display mode dot disabled. If it's not equal to zero, so if this executes to a false statement, then that means they put something in, which means I'm going to allow them to save, and I'll do display mode dot edit, just like so. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit play, I'm gonna cancel out of here, let's go back into making a new check, and right away notice my save button is now disabled, it is not clickable. But the minute I go to my isolation level and I make a selection, bingo, now I can save the record if I want to. Now this is just done on one control. What if I want to do it for every single one of these ratings? Even though, as we can see, they are not required fields in my data source, I'm making them required on the save button. Well, what I do is I go back to the save button and then I just add in some more conditional logic here. So I'm going to say if the isolation value is equal to zero, or, so I use a double pipe delimiter, or I'm going to say if the exhausted value is equal to zero or so we'll put in another double pipe delimiter or if my other one which was my let's see do I have any other ones here yep stress value if that value is equal to zero then display mode so if any one of these are equal to zero the save button should not light up so when I hit play one one still nothing two Bingo, now it's lighting up. And then they had one more requirement. They said they also want just the general comments to always be filled out as well. Now this isn't an input control, so there's no number value that I can reference here. So I have to use a different kind of conditional logic. So I'm gonna come back to the save button. I'm gonna add in one more thing here. So I'm gonna bring this on down. So I'm just gonna hit enter so we can get down to a new line of code. I'm gonna put in another or statement so I'm going to come on over here, another or statement, and then I'm going to check to see if it is blank. And what I want to do is see if my comments value is currently blank. All right. So if is blank, and I called it DCV comments. So DCV comments. All right. Dot text. If it is blank, text in here. All right, so if it is blank, this will result in true. And remember, if any one of these is true, my save button should be disabled. So when I hit play, notice earlier, I've got all of my selections here, which used to light up the save button, but because I added that extra or statement, I can't do anything unless I put something into the comments. So all I have to do is put in any character, and boom, now I can save the record if I want to. So hopefully what you've learned in this is with forms is you can reference other controls, bring back properties about those controls, 
and use them in some if conditional logic to show or hide field values or make your buttons disabled or make your buttons editable, which means you can click. So hopefully you enjoyed and if you did, make sure you like, subscribe, stay tuned to more videos. And if you want formal training on this of a full end-to-end -end course on Power Apps, check out our on-demand learning as well as all of our other private trainings. For example, we have a Power Apps Bootcamp, uh, which is four days of Power Apps where we have a lot of fun, build out a lot of applications. So again, I hope you enjoyed and I'll be seeing you in some future videos.